you know, you, you, you're like this. Here, here, yeah. Keep your head up. Don't, don't drop your head. There you go. Now I smashed you too much. I'm gonna let this down one more and see what happens. What a difference, Charles. <laughs> What, I'm sorry? That made a difference. Yeah. Pull it out. Just pull it out. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. You, you got to sort of stand up and do it. You can't sit. But keep it here. Yeah, right there. Maybe if I had a pad to put it underneath you and you can sit on the pad. Sit. There you go. Now when you come up, drop the wrist back. Here we go. Now put your feet behind you so that way you don't, yeah, there you go. Let's go. Now bring it up and squeeze, bicep. Squeeze it, there you go, good. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. That's it. Here. Okay. Turn to the side. Okay. Back. There you go. Good. Good. Now, as you go to the top, turn your palms up to the ceiling. Push back, no, palm, palm your hand up to the ceiling. Turn, turn more. Turn, there you go, you gotta twist it more. That's it, come on. Twist, there you go, come on. Twist, twist, that's it, come on, twist even more. Twist, there you go, come on. That's it, come on, twist. Three, come on. Two, come on. One, twist, twist, good. Because what happens, when you twist it, when you twist your palm, it makes a horseshoe. But when you do this, it don't make the horseshoe. That goes all the way in, see? Feel the difference? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, see? See the difference? Right there, you can see the, the horseshoe shaping. So that is a rotation, the palm has it's to It's a rotation that makes the difference, yeah. Wow. Because usually we just... You just go straight you back. You just kick like, yeah. You, you want to rotate. Squeeze that horseshoe. Boop. Okay. Would you add just like hold at the top or people because we're so accustomed to just I hold I, I I hold it. Because if you don't hold it, you don't make you know, you're not working the muscle. Sorry. You're just going through it. Just yeah. going through it. Yeah. But you wanna squeeze it and then let it go. Contract that muscle every time. Perfect. Charles, the pad here it was put underneath to kinda of give it a little bit more height. Well, women have breasts. Yes. You want to smash their breasts or what? <laughs> so I'm trying to <laughs> take it off that, you know? Right. So it makes it better for them, you know? Great. The pad always comes in handy, you know? I know, yeah. Here we go. Lean over, put their feet behind. Now don't forget, as you curl up, slightly rotate their wrist back a little, okay? Not all the way back, but just a little. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Eight. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Nine. Come on. Ten. Come on. Eleven. One more, one more. Twelve. Good. Perfect. How'd that weight feel? Heavy. Heavy? Okay. Hold, now try to hold it there for a second. Hold it, there you go. Hold it, there you go. Hold, come on. There you go, two more. One. There you go. Charles, what would you 
categorize this uh, workout? In a beginner, intermediate, advanced? What do you, what do you, it's, what do you... it's just a workout. Okay. It, because a beginner, beginner, intermediate, and advanced all do the same stuff. There's nothing different but arms. You just got to make it, they go a little heavier maybe. You know, but you, you don't change the exercise. Would you throw in some like intensifying muscle building techniques like the two-step rep, make it a little bit more challenging for advanced? No, no, not necessarily. Okay. But you could, you, you can do it with a beginner. Yes. You know, but the way to be lighter, that's all. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Moving the wrist. Don't let them use the forearm when they do that to put it here or put it there. So put less stress here, more stress there. Triceps, you reverse that Well, it's the same thing. You just push it and lock it. Yes. You, you, you can't do that. That's put on the forearm. Okay. You leave it straight and just lock it in. It's always about technique from a beginner, intermediate, to advanced. It's always about technique. And then what differentiates between the each level is the amount of weight that you can carry. And then, and then how we vary the exercise. You may put a two-step in there, you know? Yes. Yeah. Come on. Ah. 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 Wait, the women, some of the women, because, you know, they sit too low. And, yeah, smash I mean, the hell out of their I don't see you use the freeway preacher much on men. I mean, do you, is it rare? I use the freeway preacher if we have a good one. I like the standing one, but they don't they don't have one here. That right there, that damn thing's so hard. <laughs> it's and miserable. It's unique to certain types. Yeah. So I, I like I like using. Uh, there's so many different things you can do with the preacher. So you can vary the angles and stuff. That's session. it, yeah? All right, Charles. Great. We're done. All right, hopefully these fellas can uh, do this workout and, uh, you know, tag in the stories and so yeah. on and so forth. Yeah. Thank you so much, Charles. Really Thank you. Your Charles Bass here. You know, I've been in this business for over 35 years and enjoying it more now than I did then. And I've also got a new web page, GodfatherBodybuilder.com. Also, you can check me out. New ebook coming out. A lot of good stuff coming in. So, we got a membership page. If you join, you'll learn a lot of stuff from us. Please check us out.